France are now officially the first team to book their spot in the semi-finals of this World Cup in Russia. Shaka Hislop is here with me. They just defeated Uruguay by two goals to nil. Shaka, this is a bit routine, I guess we could say. Something that we did expect, especially when we saw that Edson Cavani was not going to be able to feature for Uruguay. I have to say, I, I didn't expect this. I, I you expected for, Uruguay to win I, this? I plumbed for Uruguay win. I thought Uruguay, who'd been outstanding defensively, and France at times just seemed disorganized. Um, but then, if you looked at, if you only saw this 90 minutes all World Cup long, you'd have thought the exact opposite. Mm. Uh, amazingly for me, Gutierrez and, and um, Godin seemed like, at times, like they, they never met each other. And <laughs> be, be, before I get to Uruguay, because I, I, I can be very critical, I have to say France was simply outstanding. Mm -hmm. Umtiti and... Finally the France that we can call favourites? Finally. Oh. Umtiti and... In, well, I, I don't know if we call them favourites just yet, but let me get through this. Umtiti and I thought Varane, outstanding. Yeah. Hugo Lloris produced the save of the game. We could discuss all day long if it was the season tournament thus far. But I think it's the difference between Uruguay going through and France going through. Uruguay gets an equaliser at that point. Who knows how, how this would have gone. Um, I thought Pogba was solid, composed in midfield. Kante was his understated excellent, excellence as, as, as we've come to expect from him. I thought Antoine Griezmann had his best game of the tournament without question. Never mind the goal. That was a goalkeeping error. Even so, I thought Griezmann simply fantastic. And Giroud led the line like the, the Giroud of old. The biggest surprise from France is that I thought Mbappe didn't have much of an impact on this game. But then Uruguay, as you'd expect, came into this game with a plan for Mbappe. And it worked. Other than that, nothing else worked for, for Uruguay. As, as I started to say, for me, France, in their build-up play, every time they, they move the ball from side to side, every time they switch play, these amazing gaps opened. And uh, Giroud picked out Mbappe with one very early on, where he could have let the ball drop, and he had three or four yards of room, six or seven yards out from goal. You, you've not seen that from, from Uruguay. Um, there, there were other opportunities. There, there was another that Giroud found himself all alone, eight yards out, but the, nobody could pick, could pick him out, and you were just standing there screaming cross. He was, he was wide open. And then, and then for the second goal from Griezmann, yes, it was a, a goalkeeping error, mm -hmm. but Antoine Griezmann's picking the ball up 20 yards out from goal, and nobody really that close. Nobody closing him down. Now, these are things that are, that are totally uncharacteristic of, of this Uruguay defense that you'd not seen all tournament, and I certainly did not expect. And that ultimately was the difference between the two. Never mind what we've seen or, or come to expect in terms of France and being disorganized and, and, and at times having, having huge gaps. None of that was, an, was evidenced. Uruguay, on the other hand, who set their stall out and had a foundation of, a, of being a good defensive unit. Now, without Edison Cavani, yes, they, they missed a whole lot, but you didn't expect them to defend this badly. Yeah. And as a result, they, they go crashing out, and, and deservedly so. Well, that's the way the cookie crumbled for Uruguay. They just had a bad day, I suppose. Chaka Hissop strangely had them to win, but it's France that march on to the semifinals.